Dear students, I welcome you all to Gnana Taranga program jointly organized by Karnataka government and Department of PU Education. Uh, I am Siddhanda Marpale. Today I am going to deal with an organic chemistry chapter called or Organic Compounds Containing Halogens which are also called as haloalkanes and haloarenes. Uh, first we begin with haloalkanes. Haloalkanes are the derivatives of alkanes in which one or more hydrogen atoms are replaced by halogen atoms. First one alkyl halides. Alkyl halides are derivatives of alkanes in which one of the hydrogen atoms is replaced by the halogen atom which has a general formula CN H2N plus 1 X. We move on to next slide. Alkenyl halides. Alkenyl halides are also called as haloalkenes. The halogenated derivatives of alkenes are alkenyl halides with general molecular formula CN H2N minus 1 X. In this alkenyl halides, we have varieties of molecules, one called vinyl halides. Vinyl halides are those alkenyl halides in which halogen atom is directly bonded to the unsaturated carbon atom of alkene. Uh, for example, chloroethene, chloroethene in which chlorine is bonded to the unsaturated carbon and hence it is an vinyl example for vinyl halides. Another example is 2 chloro 1 butene. Here the chlorine atom is bonded to unsaturated carbon atom though there is a, a, one more carbon atom which is saturated but it is bonded to unsaturated carbon atom hence it is an example for vinyl halide. A third example is 1 chloro, uh, chloropentene. 1 chloropentene in this case chlorine is bonded to again an unsaturated carbon atom which is involved in doubly bonded and hence it is again an example for vinyl halide. Uh, another variety of alkenyl halide is that called allyl halides. It is a molecule where halogen atom is bonded to that carbon and that carbon is bonded to unsaturated. That means halogen atom is bonded to the carbon adjacent to the carbon which is involved in the doubly bonded carbon. Uh, example for that is 3 chloropropene. 3 chloropropene in this chlorine is bonded to a carbon atom which is bonded to the doubly bonded carbon atom. Hence, it is an example for allyl halide. Next example is 3 chlorobutene. Uh, where chlorine atom is bonded to the carbon that is uh, saturated, but that carbon is bonded to the unsaturated carbon atom. Same is the case with example 3. Here chlorine atom is bonded to unsaturated uh, carbon atom which is bonded to unsaturated and uh, therefore it is an example for allyl halide. Moving on to the next slide, Al uh, alkenyl halides where uh, halogen atom is bonded to carbon which is involved in triple bond with other carbon atom. So, you know, example for that is 1 chloropropyne. In, in the bond structure, here is a carbon atom, here is a carbon atom, here is a carbon atom. Three carbon atoms are there. Carbon 1 and carbon 2 are involved in triple bond and uh, carbon 1 where the chlorine atom is bonded to carbon 1. Hence, it is called 1 chloropropyne. Whether um, uh, whether this chlorine is bonded to this carbon or this carbon, there may not be any difference. Now, coming to the next example, 1 chloro 1, 1 chloro 2 butyne, 1 chloro 2 butyne, uh, in this case, 4 carbon atoms are there 1, 2, 3, and 4. As chlorine is bonded to the chlorine is bonded to the carbon that is numbered as 1, and hence, second carbon and third carbon are involved in triple bond and hence the name of the com compound is 1-chloro-2-butyne. Another variety of the ar al uh, molecule is aralkyl halide. Aralkyl halides are those in which uh, benzene, uh, halogen atom is bonded to aliphatic carbon and that is bonded to the aromatic carbon. And example for that is benzyl chloride and second example is 2-chloro-1-phenyl-butane. This is an example for the aralkyl halide. It is a mixture of both aromatic nature as well as aliphatic nature and hence we call this molecule as aralkyl halide. 
coming on to the next variety aryl halides in this case the halogen atom is uh, directly bonded to the carbon atom which is involved in the aromatic ring uh, chlorine atom is bo uh, bonded to the carbon atom of benzene hence this is an example for the uh, aryl halide chlorobenzene next uh, three nitro chlorobenzene is another example of aryl halide where chlorine atom is directly bonded to the carbon atom of benzene ring uh, coming to the next third example one chloro uh, naphthalene this is an another example for aryl halide we move on to the next slide uh, general methods of preparation of alkylates preparing the al uh, al um, alkyl halides uh, we have different methods one among them is from alkanes uh, in this case when halogen uh, is halogen and hydrocarbon are exposed to sunlight uh, halogenated hydrocarbons are formed uh, in this case rh i am writing rh is an alkane x2 is a halogen atom it may be chlorine bromine iodine and in presence of sunlight you will get a rx molecule that is uh, r is an alkyl group x is a halogen so alkyl group and halogen atom are involved in it therefore we call this as an alkyl halide so um, the order of reactivity towards halogenation among the halogen atoms is fluorine is more reactive than chlorine is more reactive than bromine is more reactive than iodine we move on to the next slide next preparation from alkenes addition of hydrogen halide to alkenes yield to alkyl halides so addition of hbr here is an unsaturated molecule ethene it is where hx is a halogen atom where um, by um, um, adding hx to the alkene molecule you will end up with a compound that is cs uh, cs3 ch ch2x it's a compound uh, which is called alkyl halide uh, by addition of by addition of hx to alkene uh, either by using morconics of rule or by anti morconics of rule uh, we can prepare uh, alkyl halides by using alkenes as well moving on to the next slide from alcohols a nucleophilic substitution reactions uh, roh is a alcohol where oh is a functional group of alcohol or r is any r is an any alkyl group and hx hx is hx or it may you can use pcl5 or you can use px3 etc so if you use hx hydrogen halide hydrogen halide then we will get uh, um, molecule like rx and h2o molecule alkyl halide we get alkyl halide we get from this in place of hx we can make use of pcl5 when pcl5 is used you will get alkyl halide corresponding alkyl halide along with that pocl3 plus hcl molecule you get like that we can use even px3 uh, to prepare alkyl halide from alcohols now the reactivity and the order of reactivity of hx is hi is greater than hbr is greater than hcl is greater than hf now, with respect to the alcohol the order of reactivity is third order that is third um, that is tertiary alkyl halide is greater than secondary and then primary when then methyl alcohol uh, this is the reactivity towards the alcohols moving on to the next slide halogen exchange method this is an important uh, um, method of for preparing alkyl halides in this example uh, we have this one halogen exchange method sorts reaction we are in, interested in learning uh, in this case uh, sorts reaction is that reaction where fluorine replaces the any other halogen from the alkyl halide so in my particular example bromine is bromine is a uh, atom which is being replaced by the uh, fluorine in this molecule rch2f hence replacement of any halogen by fluorine that reaction is called sorts reaction in this case the interesting thing what i have written here is 18 crown 6 generally we don't do we don't use this in our regular classes but i have uh, mentioned here to make you alert about this 18 crown 6 is a okay 18 crown 6 is is a um, molecule in which uh, its molecular formula is c2h4 c2h4o 6 times its iupac name is 
1, 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, hexa aqua cyclo octadecane. You may ask me a question, uh, why it is called as octadecane? Octadecane means it is 18, uh, the structure is like that, as there are 6, uh, six oxygen atoms, one oxygen atom to the another oxygen atom, there are uh, two carbon atoms involved in the ring structure and hence it is called as octadecane and this is uh, 18 crown 6. Uh, this on heating, uh, when any alkyl bromide on heating with KF with in presence of 18 crown 6, you will get Ag uh, RCH2F, alkyl fluoride you get. This reaction is called as source reaction. The other example for the source reaction is uh, RCH2Br, that means again bromine is being replaced by the uh, fluorine atom and hence uh, we have this molecule, alkyl fluoride is a molecule we get. Uh, a source reaction. One thing to be noted here is in any reaction, if a, uh, one of the halogen atom other than fluorine, if it replaces the uh, um, halogen atoms like chlorine, bromine and iodine, that reaction is called as source reaction. From this method, we, we are able to prepare only alkyl fluorides. So, moving on to the next one, we can prepare other alkyl uh, halides other than alkyl fluoride. Uh, uh, for example, alkyl iodide, Al particularly we use alkyl iodide, uh, uh, alkyl iodide uh, in which uh, any halogen atom like chlorine, bromine, they are replaced by the iodine atom. This reaction is called as Finkelstein's reaction. Here is an example, alkyl bromide on treating with sodium iodide in presence of acetone, you will get alkyl iodide and sodium bromide is a compound as I have used bromine here, sodium bromide is a compound formed. So, these are the two important naming reactions that generally asked in competitive exams. Moving on to the next slide, uh, physical properties of the alkyl halides. Uh, when you talk about the boiling point, lesser the surface area, lower the boiling point. Lesser the surface area, uh, lower the boiling point. Meaning of that is, uh, lesser the surface area means bulkier the lesser, bul less bulkier the molecule lesser the boiling point of it. The order of reactivity with the same alkyl halide is Ri, Ri is greater than RBr is greater than RCl is greater than RF, where Ri is bulkier in comparison with RBr, in comparison with RCl, in comparison with RF. Hence, the boiling point decreases from uh, alkyl iodide to alkyl fluoride. Coming to the density, density order is Ri is greater than, RBr is greater than, RCl for the same given alkyl or aryl group. Uh, similarly, uh, for the different alkyl groups, for the different alkyl group with the same halogen atom is, is in the order of CS3i, C2H5i is greater than C3H7i, means bulkier the, bulkier the um, group, bulkier the group more the boiling point. So, this is what. Dipole moment order is CS3 Cl is greater than CS3F is greater than CS3Br, CS3I. Dipole moment of CS3Cl, here is an interesting thing to be noted is that CS3Cl is greater than CS3F. Generally, we expect CS3F in the beginning, but it is not. CS3Cl is higher than that of CS3F as carbon chlorine bond length is much greater than carbon fluorine bond length. The, because the dipole moment depends on what? Depends on the, depends on the charge and the distance. As the charge uh, and the distance, the distance between chlorine and fluorine is more in comparison with carbon and uh, fluorine, and therefore the dipole moment of carbon uh, chlorine C C L C C L that is or C S three C L is greater than C S three F. So greater the dipole moment is mainly because of bond length. Bond length is more in case of carbon chlorine in comparison with carbon fluorine and hence uh, CS3 Cl has more dipole moment in comparison with CS3 F. Uh, moving on to the next one, stability order. Stability order RF is greater than RCl is greater than RBr is greater than Ri. So, uh, this is what we have lesser stability depends on again uh, size of the molecule. Lesser the size, more the stability and RF is smaller in size in comparison with other alkyl halides like RCl, RBr and Ri and hence RF is more stable in comparison with the other things. 
Okay, move on, gone to the next one. This is a, a reaction where we have Rx is 1. In this case, when Rx uh, substitution reaction is it is a nucleophilic substitution reaction, when any alkyl halide on treating with sodium hydroxide, which is in aqueous medium, we will get alcohol. So, any base in if it is in aqueous medium on treating with any alkyl halide always you end up with an alcohol. So, this is called hydrolysis. Uh, similarly, another reaction when alkyl halide is treated with silver oxide in presence of water that is aqueous, again you get ROH, alcohol only you get alcohol. Uh, similarly, the next one RONA, in this case ether, uh, Williamson ether synthesis we call it as alkyl halides on treating with sodium uh, ox alkoxide sodium alkoxide, you will get ether and this reaction is called Williamson's ether synthesis. Uh, another reaction, when alkyl halide reacts with silver oxide, dry silver oxide, dry silver oxide, interesting thing to be noted from the previous example is that, here we are using dry silver oxide, where you are getting ROR, ROR, Wester we are, uh, we are getting um, ether here in, in place of alcohol. Coming to the other examples I have, uh, one interesting thing again I will tell you uh, about the KCN. When alkyl halides on treating with KCN, alcoholic medium, you will get nitriles RCN, RCN, but in the next example, RCN, alcoholic of course it is, it is uh, uh, silver cyanide, it is in alcoholic medium, but even then we are, we are getting RNC here. The difference between um, these two compound, one in one case we are using KCN, in another case we are using AGCN, but the product what we are expecting is different. We are not expecting RCN in the second case, in, whereas we are getting nitrile in the first case. The reason behind that is KCN is a, um, it undergoes ionization to produce a more negative charge on the carbon, therefore it attacks, uh, it attacks on the carbocation of this and forms RCN. Whereas, in case of AGCN is a partial character of negative charge we get it on the carbon uh, in comparison with nitrogen. Nitrogen is more electro negative than this and hence nitrogen attacks on the carbocation of alkyl group and hence we will get RNC, isocyanide compound is expected. This such kind of questions are generally uh, highlighted in the competitive exams. So, therefore, uh, KCN alcoholic leads to nitrile compounds, AGCN alcoholic leads to isocyanide compounds on treating with alkyl halides. Moving on to the next slide, another other examples of it, uh, AGCN uh, alcoholic again I have repeated this, NACN of course, uh, uh, sodium iodide in, in presence of acetone, uh, alkyl iodides you get that is called Finkelstein reaction as we have learned just now. Uh, other examples I will tell you, RCOO. AG. This uh, silver salt of fatty acid where you will get ester, this reaction is called a Henderson reaction, we will we'll come to that point later. Similarly, on treating with uh, ammonia, alcoholic ammonia, you will get primary amine, then further secondary amine, you will get tertiary amine and then quaternary ammonium salt. This is possible only when if you are using excess of alkyl halide. If you use excess of alkyl halide uh, with ammonia, alcoholic ammonia, there you will get first you will get primary alcohol, uh, primary amine and then secondary amine and then termini, uh, tertiary amine and then quaternary ammonium salt is expected. If you are using less uh, limited quantity of alkyl halide with ammonia, you will get you will end up with 1 is to 1 ratio if it is, you will end up with one only primary amine. If you are using uh, alkyl halide 2 is to 1 ratio secondary, uh, then if you are using excess, then it ends with quaternary ammonium salt. Similarly, alkyl halides on treating with RMGX, RMGX Grignard reagent, you will get an higher alkanes MgX2, KNO2 is another example where alkyl nitrite is formed. These are the few reactions you can expect in the competitive exam. Moving on to the next slide, Friedel Craft reaction, which is an interesting one and important also for the competitive exams. Uh, alkyl halides uh, for a um, uh, Friedel Craft reaction in which alkyl halides on treating with aromatic compound in presence of AlCl3, 
you will get alkyl substituted aromatic compound. In this case, benzene is an aromatic compound, alkyl added Rx, this is treated in presence of AlCl3 uh, catalyst and you will get alkyl substituted aromatic compound you are expecting. This is a, an example for the friedel craft reaction which is also called as alkylation, alkylation. Even acylation can be done by this method. Uh, reaction with metals now, Rx on treating with magnesium in presence of ether, uh, RMgx you will get, alkyl magnesium halide you will get, this is a Grignard reagent uh, where we can pre prepare Grignard reagent from alkyl halide on treating with uh, metallic magnesium. Moving on to the next slide, here we have dehydrohalogenation, which is again an important uh, one. Uh, in earlier case, we have learnt where aqueous solution, aqueous KOH is, is treated with any alkyl halide, we used to get, we used to get alcohols, but now we are using alcoholic KOH. Alcoholic KOH on treating with any alkyl halide, here is an example R CH CH uh, CH R dash. Uh, in this case, hydrogen and halogen atom, hydrogen and halogen atom are replaced, replaced, uh, they are removed. Uh, that is why we are calling it as dehydrohalogenation. Hydrogen is removed, halogen atom is also removed from the compound on treating with alcoholic KOH. Hence, we end with a corresponding alkene, alkene and uh, KX and other water molecules and major product is alkene. In this case, the other example what I am giving you here, alpha uh, beta elimination I have told you. Meaning of beta elimination is uh, halogen atom which is bonded to the carbon that is alpha carbon, neighboring carbon of it is beta as hydrogen atom of beta carbon is removed and therefore, we are calling it as beta elimination reaction. Uh, in some cases, we find more than one beta carbon. In that case, we, we use a rule that I will come to the point bit later. Uh, here is an example, uh, even uh, uh, dehydrohalogenation can be done on treating with uh, NaH, NH2. Uh, this will get again an alkyne compound uh, because we have used, we have used already unsaturated molecule here. So, therefore, uh, we can end with alkyne molecules, dehydrohalogenation. The important thing is hydrogen hydrogen and halogen are removed from this uh, to end up with uh, alkyne molecule. Moving on to the next one, mechanism of SN2 reaction. Um, SN2 reaction generally it is applicable for a primary, um, it is a, um, primary alkyl halides, primary alkyl halides in which the OH group that is OH group from the base NaOH or KOH, where it attacks from the, it attacks on the carbon of the alkyl group. Same, at the same time, a bromine atom is released from this. Hence, we will get a transition state where OH group is not at, at bonded to carbon. Similarly, bromine atom is not at released from the carbon atom. They are, that state is called as a transition state. This on further, you will get OH and H is removed from this. Uh, this is a reaction where uh, rate of reaction again depends on both the molecules. This is a primary alkyl halide, this is OH concentration of sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide, whatever we use, it depends on both the both and therefore, the rate of react, rate equation for this reaction is uh, uh, rate is equal to K into Rx concentration of alkyl halide and then concentration of OH ions used in it. Uh, therefore, the order of the reaction is to halides uh, R i is greater than R b r is greater than R c l, uh, this is a reactivity of halides. Uh, then for the same uh, primary alkyl halide, alkyl group C s 3 x, C s 3 C h 2 x, C s 3 C h 2 x, this is the one, C s 3 C h x secondary one and then tertiary. The greater the steric hindrance on the electron greater the steric hindrance on the electron deficient carbon lesser is the reactivity. That means, tertiary tertiary alkyl halides where the more alkyl groups are on the carbocation, steric hindrance is more at the carbon uh, electron deficient carbon and hence it is less reactive. Tertiary alkyl halide is less reactive in comparison with secondary and then primary and hence primary alcohol, primary alkyl halides are more reactive towards SN2 reaction. Moving on to the next, 
mechanism of SN1. Here is a reaction where tertiary alkyl halide, tertiary alkyl halide uh, is first undergoes carbocation uh, and forms a carbocation and then attack of carbocation takes place. Uh, first step, first step where carb formation of carbocation takes place, that is a slow step and only one molecule is involved in it and that is tertiary alkyl halide and therefore, the rate of react rate equation for that reaction is R is equal to K into R x uh, into H 2 O raised that is O H minus ion raised to power 0 means order with respect to hydroxyl ions uh, we are using in this reaction is 0 that means uh, whatever the concentration however the concentration of O H minus ion we use in this reaction that does not affect the rate of reaction and therefore order with respect to O H minus ion is 0 with respect to R x it is 1 the overall order of the reaction is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. The order of reactivity of SN1 with respect to halide as SN2 reaction tertiary is greater than secondary is greater than primary alkyl halide is greater than CS3 X. Coming to the order reactivity towards the um, uh, um, halogens R i is greater than R b r is greater than R c l is greater than R f. The reason behind this is uh, bond length again uh, between chlorine and iodine sorry between carbon and iodine there is a um, uh, bond length is more and hence the bond cleavage becomes easy in case of carbon and iodine hence it is more reactive. The order of reactivity towards SN1 reaction tertiary alkyl halide is greater than secondary alkyl halide is greater than primary and then it is CS3 X. Moving on to the next one aryl halides these are also called as haloarenes uh, halogenated hydrocarbons in which the halogen atom is directly bonded to the aromatic system are called as haloarenes. Uh, here we have example chlorobenzene where chlorine is directly bonded to the carbon atom of benzene. So, uh, chlorine in the second example chlorine is bonded to the carbon atom of uh, toluene and it is at the ortho position therefore, it is called as ortho chlorotoluene and in case of um, naphthalene we have one chloro naphthalene because uh, it is a chlorine atom where it is bonded to the carbon that is numbered as 1 and hence it is one chloro naphthalene. Moving on to the next general methods of preparation from aromatic hydrocarbons. Uh, when, when you use a benzene as a starting compound, uh, there are different methods. If you are interested in preparing ben, uh, chlorobenzene, we can use chlorine in presence of Cl2 electrophilic substitution reaction. If you are interested in preparing bromobenzene, uh, you can use bromine in presence of FeBr2. If you are interested in pr uh, preparing uh, um, what do you call iodine compound, where you can use iodine in presence of HiO3. Uh, now, depending on the um, situation we use it. If you are interested to see uh, preparing chlorobenzene, then we use chlorine, chlorination in uh, electrophilic substitution reaction takes place. One of the one of the hydrogen atom, one of the hydrogen atom of benzene, any all six hydrogen atoms which are on the benzene ring, they are uh, identical, any one can be replaced by the halogen atom and hence we uh, get a chlorobenzene like chloro, chlorobenzene, bromobenzene and then iodobenzene. This is one method of preparing it. Next one, from diazonium salts, benzene diazonium salt, benzene diazonium chloride is used, uh, CuCl2 in presence of HCl, you will get chlorine, chlorobenzene is a compound. Similarly, for preparing bromobenzene, we use CuBr, for preparing uh, iodobenzene, we use Ki solution. If you are interested in preparing fluorobenzene, uh, HbF4 is used and these are the, uh, some of the methods of preparing the uh, aryl halides. Coming to the next point, when CuCl in presence of HCl or CuBr in presence of HBr is used, that reaction is called as Sandmeyer's reaction. Sandmeyer's reaction, the first one where we have prepared uh, um, chlorobenzene and bromobenzene, where we used CuCl in presence of HCl. In preparing CuB, uh, in preparing bromobenzene, uh, CuBr in HBr we have used that reaction is called as Sandmeyer's reaction. Uh, when Cu are in presence of HCl or Cu in presence of HBr is used, the reaction is called as Gettermann's reaction. Uh, similarly, uh, the third method for preparing uh, aryl halide is from phenol, where phenol is used as a starting compound. 
it is treated with PCL5, phosphorus pentachloride. Uh, the, wherever we are using PCL5, where the compound containing oxygen and halogen, uh, oxygen containing ox, uh, molecule containing oxygen and hydrogen, oxygen and um, he, uh, halogen combined to form POCl3 and one hydrogen and chlorine forms HCl, only one chlorine is left, that chlorine replaces the OH group and hence you will get a chlorobenzene. Chlorobenzene, this is a method we can use for preparing chlorobenzene from phenol. Next electrophilic substitution reactions, in, in case of electrophilic substitution reaction of chlorobenzene, uh, um, we have chlorine, chlorine, electrophilic substitution, chlorination of chlorobenzene, where uh, chlorobenzene is uh, ortho para directing group as it releases electron, it releases electron towards the benzene ring, hence ortho para directing group. Therefore, electrophilic substitution reaction occurs and only at the ortho carbon and para carbon, hence we expect, we expect only the product of uh, ortho or para, hence ortho dichlorobenzene or para dichlorobenzene. So, next one uh, nitration. In case of nitration, nitrating mixture we use HNO3 and H2SO4, both are in concentrated. This on heating, you will end up with uh, ortho nitro chlorobenzene is a minor product. In previous case also, the minor product and major product I have not mentioned uh, here. The major product para uh, nitro chlorobenzene is a major product because uh, as in case of nitrobenzene, the steric hindrance, due to the steric hindrance of this, the, you will get less num amount of this molecule, whereas as nitro group and Cl are far away from each other and there will not be any steric hindrance and hence you will expect more product here. Uh, coming to the sulfonation, uh, concentrated sulfuric acid is used, again ortho para uh, directing group, uh, chlorobenzene is ortho para directing group, hence you will get ortho and para uh, substituted products. Uh, similarly, um, we use this um, Friedel-Craft reaction, chlorobenzene in CS3Cl in presence of AlCl3. In as I told you earlier, uh, alkyl substituted aromatic compound uh, is formed. Orthochlorotolvin is a minor product, and parachlorotolvin is a major product. We expect this is an example for the Friedel-Craft reaction again. Moving on to the next one, dihalides. Uh, as we have so far, we have discussed about the monohalogen derivatives. It uh, that means only one halogen atom of either aromatic compound or aromatic aliphatic compound was used to replaced by the halogen atom. Now, uh, dihalo dihalides are those in which two hydrogen atoms of the hydrocarbon are replaced by the halogen atoms. So that is general formula for that is CnH2n CnH2nX2 CnH2nX2. Uh, Again, in this case, two hydrogen atoms are to be replaced by the halogen atoms in this case. Uh, there are two possibilities. One, uh, both hydrogen may, uh, from the same carbon may be replaced or from the different. So, depending on the replacement of hydrogen atoms, we have two types of dihalides. One called geminal, geminal dihalide, that is short form of gem dihalide, gem dihalide. In this case, the uh, only meaning of gem is that the term gem derived from geminal means same position that means two hydrogen atoms which are going, going to be replaced they are belonging to the same carbon and therefore two similar halogen atoms are attached to the same carbon atom this kind of molecules we call it as gem, gemidihalides example cs3 ch x2 example actually this is cs3 ch3 this is ethane it's a derivative of it two hydrogen atoms are replaced and hence you will get CS3, CH, C, uh, that is X2, X2, this is a compound we expect. Both the hydrogen atoms are replaced from the same carbon atom and therefore, it is an example, ethylene, ethylidine dihalide it is, ethylidine, ethylidine uh, is a word used only for those uh, alkyl group uh, where two hydrogen atoms of the same carbon are removed and hence ethylidine dihalide is a, an example for the geminal dihalide. Moving on to the next one, vicidine, vicinal dihalide. Vicinal dihalide is entirely different. Uh, vici means vici term from the vicinal means adjacent carbon atom. That means two hydrogen atoms are replaced, no doubt in it, 
are replaced by the halogen atoms in this molecule as also, but the thing is one hydrogen atom is replaced from one carbon, another hydrogen atom is replaced from the another carbon atom uh, that is neighboring carbon atom, adjacent carbon atom and this kind of molecules are called as vicinal dihalides. So, here is an example for it, vicinal dihalide this is where one hydrogen atom is replaced by the first carbon and another one is replaced by the neighboring carbon atom and hence we call this molecule as a vicinal dihalide. A vicinal, vicinal dihalide and geminal dihalides are position isomers. They contain same number of carbon, hydrogen and halogen atoms. Only thing is halogen atom position differs and therefore, these are, uh, these are iso position isomers to each other. Moving on to the next slide, questions. Here is a first question. A uh, first question is C 2 H 5 C L A plus A G F gives C 2 H 5 F plus A G C L. The above reaction is, look at this carefully, look at this reaction carefully again, where the chlorine atom is replaced by the fluorine. So, the end product is C 2 H 5 F. So, in just now we have discussed, we I told you that where the replacement of any halogen by the fluorine atom, then that reaction is called. Now, what is asked? We do not know. Let us go for the options first. This reaction is, that means in reaction is what? Hansidker reaction, as I told you, it is not because this reaction where uh, silver um, salt of fatty acids or silver salts of fatty acids are used in this reaction, whereas in Stickers reaction, we, we are not using this one. Uh, we will get uh, amines there, preparation of amines we will use. In case of Urge reaction, uh, we are getting higher alkanes. When two moles of alkyl halides on treating with sodium in presence of dry ether, you will get higher alkanes, more number of carbon atoms involved in it. That is why neither it is Urge reaction nor it is this nor this and hence we are end up with, we end up with source reaction because replacement of fluorine by chlorine takes place and therefore, this reaction is source reaction. Hence, the right option is option B. Moving on to the next question, the correct order of dipole moment of alkyl halide is, alkyl halides option Ri is greater than RBr is greater than RCl is greater than RF, RF is greater than RCl is greater than RBr is greater than Ri, RCl is greater than Rf is greater than RBr is greater than Ri, none of these. Of course, in this just now in our synapses we have learnt that uh, dipole moment depends on what? It depends on the charge and distance between the two atoms that is carbon and halogen atom. Uh, in, in case of option 3, in case of option 3, RCl and Rf, exceptional case it is. Uh, we will look at the other also before coming to option C, Ri and RBr, Ri and RBr and R, there is a greater than, Ri is greater than, RBr is less than that is given, but uh, the exceptional case of C, RCl is greater than Rf, generally we expect this in reverse case, Rf is greater than RCl, but as bond length of RCl is more than the bond length of Rf. Therefore, as the bond length increases, magnetic uh, sorry dipole moment also increases and hence RCl is greater than dipole moment of RCl is greater than RF is greater than RBr is greater than Ri. This is there in option C, hence our right answer is C. Moving on to the next question, gem halide, gem dibromide is, so we have to select, we have to identify which is gem dibromide in this case. As just now we have learnt gem meaning geminal, geminal dibromide, geminal meaning is that where two bromine atoms are bonded to the same carbon atom where uh, the two hydrogen atoms from that is replaced. Uh, in example, uh, in option A, CS3, CHBr, OHBr, two hydrogen atoms are replaced, no doubt, in uh, two bromine atoms have come in, but uh, in, in this case, in a carbon 2, this is at carbon 2, one bromine and then in carbon 3, there is one more bromine, 
carbon this is one or two you can call like this one and two but bro, two bromine atoms are at two different carbon atoms hence it it is not a gem diminal dibromide coming to the next one ch3 cbr2 ch the two bromine atoms are bonded to this middle carbon to the same carbon atom let us think of it uh, whether it is a right answer or not we will decide later on after discussing with the, the remaining two options ch2 br ch2 ch2 br so again the two bromine atoms are bonded to the different carbon atoms so it may not be a geminal dibromide moving on to the next one ch2 br ch2 br same case here also uh, two bromine atoms are bonded to the different carbon atoms and therefore it it is not a geminal dibromide hence our right option is right option this is an explanation geminal dihalides are those in which two halogen atoms are attached to the same carbon atom this is there in option c sorry option b this is two bromine atoms two bromine atoms are bonded to the same carbon atom hence our right option is b moving on to the next question ethylidine dibromide it's again ethylidine dibromide uh, meaning of that is ethylidine dibromide is that two um, hydrogen atoms are replaced by the bromine atoms at two different carbon atoms so we we'll look at this ch3 ch2 br it, it is not a dibro um, dibromide because it is an alkyl halide it is a, an alkyl halide uh, mono halogen derivative it is only brom one bromine atom is there therefore it is not our answer uh, in option b br ch2 b ch2 br that means two bromine atoms are bonded to the different carbon atoms next uh, ch3 c ch br2 that means two bromine atoms are bonded to the same carbon atom same carbon atom let us think of the next one uh, ch2 double bond ch br we are to two bromine atoms are bonded to the same carbon atom but this is unsaturated this is unsaturated molecule it should be saturated and therefore the explanation for this uh, is two bromine atoms should be bonded to the aliphatic carbon atom of the uh, two bromine atoms should be bonded to the carbon aliphatic carbon and then it is uh, ethylene diamide is an example for it and hence our right option is option c option c where three bromine uh, two bromine atoms are bonded to the same carbon atom uh, moving on to the next one which of the following halide is secondary secondary isopropyl chloride neobutyl chloride normal propyl chloride and normal butyl chloride uh, i i would like to give some hints regarding this question secondary primary secondary and tertiary we call only primary molecules primary alkyl halides are those in which a halogen atom is bonded to carbon that carbon may bond with one carbon or no carbon in many of the um, cases we we treat um, ch3 cl or ch3x as a as a primary one um, though it it is not bonded to other carbon atom so for example this one ch3 br and then ch3 ch2 br so here bromine atom is bonded to the carbon it is bonded to one more carbon and hence it is a it is a primary one secondary alkyl halide halides are those where the uh, halogen atom is bonded to that carbon and that carbon should bond with two carbon atoms that is called a secondary one so which one among the four is that we have to find out in isopropyl chloride propyl chloride uh, we have three carbon atoms propyl we have three carbon atoms as it is iso uh, propyl chloride uh, it is it is chlorine is at the second carbon and this halogen atom is bonded to carbon that carbon is bonded with two neighboring carbon atoms two neighboring carbon atoms and therefore it may be our answer but we should not think of it in case of neo butyl chloride neo butyl chloride it is not Uh, where halogen atom is bonded with neo when do you say it's a carbon where it is bonded with functional group which is bonded to carbon that should connect with three carbon atoms but it is not our case so uh, option c and option d normal propyl chloride 
that means normal propyl chloride is where the chlorine is bonded to the terminal carbon atom that means that carbon is bonded with one carbon uh, normal normal propyl chloride and hence iso is the sec we we are interested this is a primary one uh, for example cs3 ch2 ch2 cl this is normal propyl chloride where chlorine is bonded to carbon that carbon is bonded with only one carbon hence it is a primary same is the case with n butyl chloride also therefore our right option is isopropyl chloride where this halogen atom uh, chlorine is bonded to carbon that is bonded with two carbon atoms and hence our right option is option a isopropyl chloride moving on to the next one what is the main product of reaction between two methyl propene with hbr what is the main product of the reaction between two methyl propene with hbr uh, two methyl propene is an unsaturated molecule where we are adding hbr to that so let us think what is expected in this case uh, the main product is option given to you are 1 bromo butane 2 bromo 2 methyl propane 2 bromo butane and 2 bromo 2 methyl propane as this reaction is uh, it follows uh, morganics of rule addition reaction here it is hbr hbr is added to added to the molecule where it is uh, un, at, at carbon 2 methyl group is there at carbon 2 methyl group is there and then it is added uh, adding molecule that is h plus and br minus that addendum we call it as the negative part of the addendum goes to that carbon atom which contains least number of hydrogen atoms which contains least number of hydrogen atoms therefore bromine and goes and attacks at the carbon atom uh, second carbon atom hence you will get bromine here CS3 group is already there in it the next of the part the hydrogen goes and adds to the carbon atom hence we will get CS3 so this is according to according to Marconix of rule uh, bromine goes to that carbon atom which contains least number of hydrogen atom whereas the rest of the thing hydrogen goes and attacks to the other carbon atom which is involved in the uh, doubly bonded carbon uh, moving on to the uh, question now what what is expected is uh, 2 bromo this this molecule is 2 bromo 2 methyl propane 2 bromo 2 methyl propane is given in option option d 2 bromo 2 methyl propane is given in option d therefore is our right answer 2 bromo butane is given no 2 bromo is there any uh, is there any other 2 bromo go no only 2 bromo two options we have in one 2 bromo 2 methyl 2 methyl group is also there uh, methyl group is at second carbon and hence option C, option B and option A is uh, not, uh, they are not correct. Our right option is option D. Moving on to the next question. When ethyl alcohol that is C2H5OH reacts with uh, thionyl chloride SOCl2 in presence of pyridine, the product obtained is, the options are like this. Uh, we are treating ethyl alcohol and we are treating with alcohol with thionyl chloride SOCl2 then the product the reaction what you expect is ethyl alcohol C2H5OH thionyl chloride SOCl2 in presence of this we will get an alkyl that is ethyl chloride you will get SO2 plus HCl this is a reaction we expect this is a reaction we expect hence ethyl chloride is the main product and SO2 and these are byproducts and hence it is there in option D ethyl chloride HCl and SO2 all are there and therefore our right option is option D and this is a method which we prefer in laboratory for preparing alkyl chloride because the byproducts SO2 and HCl they are in the form of gaseous they escape and hence leaving behind only ethyl chloride hence if you are interested in preparing ethyl chloride or any alkyl chloride from the alcohol uh, this this is a method just we prefer in the laboratory uh, moving on to the next question uh, preparation of alkyl halides in the laboratory is least preferred 
as just now told it is preferred but now I, another example i am giving you it is it is not preferred in preparing disc moly, uh, by this method in the laboratory that is preparation of alkyl lead is in the laboratory is least preferred treatment of alcohols addition of hydrogen halides to alkene and then halide exchange method or direct halogenation of alkenes so in this treatment of this option is b why option b is right uh, is not is is right because we are not preferring it addition of hydrogen halide to alkene addition of hydrogen halide to propene is least preferred because we will get more than one product in this case whereas in case of uh, treatment of alcohol uh, you, either you use SOCl2 or any other uh, re reagent you will get only one alkyl halide whereas in case of addition of hydrogen halide we get more than one product and hence we prefer least in, uh, in preparing the alkyl halide in the laboratory hence option B is that which we least prefer in preparing alkyl halide in the laboratory. Moving on to the next question, decreasing order of reactivity of HX in the reaction, decreasing order of reactivity of HX in the reaction, ROH that is HX we are using, the options given to you are HX, uh, decreasing order we need, decreasing order we need and hence option A. HI is greater than HBr is greater than HCl is greater than HF that means it is decreasing order only HBr is greater than HCl is greater than HI is greater than HF HCl is greater than HBr is greater than HI is greater than HF HF is greater than HBr is greater than HCl is greater than HI so in this uh, case option A is the right one option A is the right one why I tell you why hydrogen added is greater than more it is more rea uh, reactive towards towards alkyl alcohol in comparison with HBr in comparison with HCl in that because of the bond length hydrogen halide the bond length is more in comparison with HBr and HCl and HF as a result of increase in bond length between hydrogen and halide uh, bond cleavage becomes easy and it is more reactive towards the alcohol and hence it, option A is the right one whereas in case of option B and C uh, HBr is greater than HCl is greater than HI is greater than is given uh, HF is greater than HF other examples are also given but the point to be noted in this case is uh, reactivity depends on the bond length the one which uh, the, uh, mo the one the molecule one which uh, bond cleavage takes place easily is more reactive that is there in case of HI in comparison with HBr is in comparison with HCl and in comparison with H HF and therefore option A is right one. Moving on to the next one, ROH uh, then HX, RX is the compound form alkyl halide you will get uh, the above reaction, the reactivity of different alcohols. Uh, in previous case we have used halogens, now we are using alcohols uh, that is alkyl groups. Tertiary is greater than secondary is greater than primary, tertiary is less than secondary is less than primary tertiary is less than secondary is less than uh, greater than primary secondary is less than primary is less than tertiary the explanation regarding this is rohx you will get a R, uh, alkyl halide we are getting an alkyl halide here the reactivity of alcohol uh, in this reaction is tertiary is greater than secondary is greater than primary the reason for that is ter why tertiary is greater more reactive towards that is after losing after forming a carbocation after forming a carbocation the carbocation is resonance stabilized as there are three groups three alkyl groups are bonded to the carbon and hence primary is greater than secondary is greater than that uh, towards the uh, halogen reactivity ri is greater than rbr is greater than rcl it must be so hence our right option is a tertiary is greater than secondary is greater than primary and moving on to the next question in Finkelstein reaction which reactants are used option sir sodium iodide and C2H5OH ethyl alcohol NAF sodium fluoride and acetone sodium bromide and CS3OH sodium iodide and C2H5Br that is ethyl bromide so Finkelstein reaction just now we have learnt in our synapses that it is a reaction where 
sodium replaces the other halogen atom from the alkylenate. So, in which case uh, sodium uh, we are uh, the reactant must must contain uh, sodium ion. So, sodium iodide is one where ethyl alcohol is mixed in the first case, this is one. Uh, the, um, we are asked to find the reactants, we are asked to find the reactants here, uh, sodium fluorine of course acetone, sodium bromide and acetone. We, we are in case of Finkelson reaction, we will get alkyl iodide, we need, uh, we get alkyl iodide, therefore the reactant must contain sodium, uh, it contains sodium iodide and acetone and hence the reaction is like this, sodium uh, iodide on treating with ethyl bromide, you will get acetone, uh, in presence of acetone, you will get ethyl iodide and sodium bromide. This reaction is called as Finkelstein reaction because bromine atom is replaced by the iodine and hence you will get ethyl iodide. Therefore, uh, option D, option D is the right one. Moving on to the next question compound A on treating with HCl in presence of sunlight, you will get B. On treating with aqueous KOH, you will get C. On uh, oxidation, you will get CH3OH. Then identify A, B and C. So, the options given to you are, now look at this, before we uh, expect the or before we guess the right option, what is expected to know is how many, what are the number of carbon atoms that are present in the final compound that you look at. The final compound contains two carbon atoms. That means, uh, it should start with what? It should contain, A should contain two carbon atoms. A should contain two carbon atoms. So, A should contain two carbon atoms. On treating with, on treating with chlorination, you will get B. That on treating with aqueous KOH, you will get C. Then what? One must, two carbon atoms and uh, two carbon atoms are where A ethyl alcohol is one, ethyl chloride and then ethane will, is the product, uh, ethane, C is ethane he says. So, that is one option, uh, ethane, ethyl chloride and then ethyl alcohol, propane, propyl chloride, propyl alcohol, all of the above. These are the options given to you and let us go for the reaction, how it takes place, uh, what it uh, C 2 H 6, we, we as I told you earlier, a compound final product contains two carbon atoms. Therefore, we should start with a car, compound containing two carbon atoms that is from ethane. Ethane on chlorination, you will get C 2 H 5 C L. Ethyl chloride you will get. Ethyl chloride as we have already learnt in presence of aqueous KOH, you will get an alcohol. You will get an alcohol. So, A is a is C 2 H 6 and B is C 2 H 5 C L, this is a B here and then C 2 H 5 O H, you will get the final product C 2 H 5 O H uh, and then this on oxidation, any alcohol on oxidation, Ill, uh, controlled oxidation, controlled oxidation leads to C S 3 O H. If you con do not control it, it uh, leads to the carboxylic acid again, the controlled oxidation leads to CH3OH and hence the uh, option B is the one where ethane, ethyl chloride and ethyl alcohol. A is ethane, B is ethyl chloride, C is uh, ethyl alcohol. Uh, therefore, option B is the right one. Moving on to the next question, racemic mixture is obtained due to the halogenation of. Racemic mixture is one where uh, that mixture uh, equimolar solution of D and L form, that is called racemic mixture. It is obtained due to the halogenation of what? Isopentane, normal pen, uh, pentane, uh, neopentane and then both A and B. Uh, racemic mixture is obtained, uh, this is an explanation, you just look at it. If free radical halogenation generates a, a chiral carbon during the Al uh, during the halogenation, if a alkyl halide where a chiral carbon is there, then racemic mixture of halides are always formed, he says, due to the equal probability of halogenation from both sides of uh, planar free radicals. So, in, in these uh, two reactions, in neo, uh, there is normal pentane, 
normal pentane does not contain any chiral carbon. Uh, this on halogenation, that is on chlorination, here I have chlorinated, on chlorination you will get a 2 chloro, 2 chloropentane molecule. So, 2 chloro at carbon 2, at carbon 2 there is a chlorine, a methyl group and then hydrogen and then rest of the group we have. That means, all these 4 groups are different CLEDs, all the 4 groups are different that are bonded to the carbon and this carbon is called as a chiral carbon and hence the second reaction where in this case uh, we have uh, 2 methyl uh, 2 methyl butane where chlorination again we will get a chiral carbon here. So, therefore, the right option is D, right option is D that means both A and B, A isopentane, A isopentane. Uh, and uh, B is B is a normal pentane. Uh, hence, the option option D sorry uh, both A and B is the right answer. Moving on to the next question, SN1 reaction is favored by favorable condition for the SN1 reaction. Options given to you are non-polar solvents, more number of alkyl groups on the carbon atom, small group on the carbon attached to the halogen atom, none of this. So, SN1 reaction as a, we have just now learnt that it, uh, tertiary SN1 reaction tertiary favours um, more, tertiary is greater than secondary is greater than primary alkyl halide. So, therefore, uh, st uh, in case of SN1 reaction the stability depends on what? Depends on the carbocation carbocation of the alkyl halide and hence the, our option B, B option is more number of alkyl groups on the carbon atom, carbon atom. Where do you find more number of carbon at, alkyl group on the carbon atom? Only in case of tertiary alkyl halide, tertiary alkyl halide contains more number of carbon atom that favours more and hence of course, SN1 reaction is, is there even in case of secondary and primary, but more favorable condition is at the tertiary alkyl halide, hence option B is right one. Moving on to the next one, when ethyl bromide is treated with moist silver oxide, the main product is R. Here are the options, diethyl ether, ethanol, ethoxyethane, all of the above. So, silver oxide we have treated, moist silver oxide we have treated and therefore, the reaction is like this CS3 CH2 Br moist silver oxide C2 H5O C2 H5O that will, will end up with what diethyl ether which is also called as ethoxyethane and this uh, gets converted into ethanol and hence the right option we are, we are getting diethyl ether, we are getting ethanol, we are getting ethoxyethane therefore, the right option is all the above uh, which is there in option D hence option D is right one. Moving on to the next question, reactivities of methyl chloride, reactivities of methyl chloride, propyl chloride and chlorobenzene are in the order of, are in the order of methyl chloride is greater than propyl chloride is greater than chlorobenzene, option B propyl chloride is greater than methyl chloride is greater than chlorobenzene, option C methyl chloride is greater than chlorobenzene is greater than methyl propyl chloride, option D chlorobenzene is greater than propyl chloride is greater than methyl chloride. So, uh, reactivity it depends on the stability of the carbocation. That explanation is that uh, in case of uh, methyl chloride, methyl chloride the stability is less, the carbocation methyl carbocation what is formed is less in comparison with C2H5, CS3, CH2. Um, the stability is more and hence it is less reactive and coming to the chlorobenzene here the it is most stable when chlorine donates a lone pair of electron to the benzene ring uh, re, it is resonance stabilized and hence um, uh, methyl chloride is more reactive than ethyl uh, chloride is more reactive than uh, chlorobenzene hence option A option A that is methyl chloride is more reactive than propyl chloride than the chlorobenzene. Uh, moving on to the next one, 
uh, ethyl chloride on treating with KCN alcoholic, you will get X, which on hydrolysis gives Y. Then what are X and Y? So just now I told you uh, in my synapses, KCN alcoholic medium in KCN, if it is treated with any alkyl uh, halide, you will end up with nitrile compounds. That is X must, might, must be uh, nitrile and the options, we will just look at the options where they are. Uh, option A, C2H6 and C2H5CN, C2H5CN and C2H6, C2H5CN, C2H5CH2NH2, C2H5CN and C2H5COOH. Now, the, as I have told you, first one X uh, replacement of chlorine by CN takes place and hence you will get ethyl cyanide C2H5CN is the one which we expect, first X value is that. So that is there only in option B, option C and in option D. That means option A, it is not our answer. Now coming to the, uh, the next, what is Y then? This on hydrolysis, that is C2H5CN on hydrolysis, you will end up with a carboxylic acid. Uh, hence the reaction is like this, uh, ethyl cyanide is formed, this on hydrolysis, uh, this COOH, nitrogen goes away and car propanoic acid you will expect here, we expect propanoic acid here and therefore uh, it is there in option, it is there in option B, ethyl cyanide and then we are propanoic acid. These are the X is, X is ethyl cyanide, Y is propanoic acid and hence option D is the right one. Moving on to the next question. For a given alkyl group, the densities of halides follow the order, density of alkyl halide. R i is less than R b r is greater than R c l, R i is less than R c l is greater than R b r, R b r is less than R i is less than R c l, uh, R c l is less than R b r is less than R i. The options are given like this. Density of alkyl halide increases as the size of halogen atom increases. Density of alkyl halide increases on the size of the uh, halogen atom. As the halogen atom size increases for a given uh, group, for a given alkyl group, uh, it is the statement given. But uh, generally density is directly, pro, uh, density is equal to mass by volume. Uh, as size increases, volume also increases. Uh, side by side, mass is also increasing. When you compare the mass of fluorine and chlorine, and bromine and iodine, mass factor predominates over the volume factor. As a result, though both mass and volume are uh, increasing in this case, but mass factor predominates over the predominates over the uh, volume factor, and hence option D, where RCl is less than RBr is less than Ri, and therefore uh, our right option is option D. Moving on to the next one, when alkyl halide is heated with dry silver oxide, it produces, in, in previous case, particular example was taken, now here a general one. Next one, options are ester, ether, ketone and then alcohol. Uh, coming to the next, uh, next slide, next two options like this. Alkyl halides on treating with dry silver oxide furnish ether. So, um, reaction is like this C2H5Cl plus Ag2O this will ether, methoxy methane is the one which is formed, hence the right option is option B. Uh, silver oxide as I told you, silver oxide when it is treated with any alkyl halide, if it is in dry condition, always you will end up with ether. If you are treating silver oxide in moist condition or in uh, moist condition, you will get alcohol. These are the, this is the difference between a treatment of silver oxide with alkyl halide. In one case, you will get ether. Ether you will get only in case of dry condition. Uh, in moist condition, you will get alcohol. This is the difference you have to note. Moving on to the next question. Ethyl chloride plus aqueous KOH gives the product. Options are? C2H5OH, CS3CS3 that is ethane, CS2 C, double bond CH2 that is ethene, 
CS3, CH2, OK, that is uh, potassium uh, oxide, potassium salt of ethane it is. Uh, explanation for this, ethyl chloride on treating with aqueous KOH, you will end up with always a, an alcohol. This is a general statement of which I have given you, any alkyl halide on treating with aqueous KOH, it always ends with alcohol and therefore, our right option is option A, it is ethyl alcohol, in the second case it is ethene, ethane, ethene and other thing, therefore, the right option is uh, ethane. The question what is the concept on, on what it is uh, based is, it is based on the fact that uh, any alkyl halide on treating with aqueous KOH or NaOH already ends with an alcohol, that is the concept. Moving on to the next question, uh, reaction of ethyl chloride with sodium in dry ether leads to ethyl chloride we are using with sodium in dry ether. So, this is a reaction where we expect, uh, uh, this question is framed based on Urge reaction. So, uh, I have, of course, it is not mentioned anything about the Urge reaction, but the example says ethyl chloride is an alkyl halide it is treated with sodium, that condition is dry ether. So, in this two moles of ethyl chloride, uh, on treating with two moles of sodium, you will get uh, higher uh, aromatic, higher aliphatic hydrocarbon and that is, the reaction is like this. C2H5Cl, two moles of course, you will use two moles of it, they will get two moles of, uh, of this, you will end up with normal butane. Of course, I have already, this is mentioned here, one mole of here, one mole here, two moles of it reacts with sodium, two moles of sodium, you will get normal butane. This is a reaction which we call it as Urge reaction. Urge reaction, I repeat, Urge reaction in which two moles of alkyl halides, it may be anything, any alkyl halide it may be, it may be chlorine, bromine, iodine, ethyl chloride, ethyl bromine, whatever it may be, two moles of ethyl, uh, two moles of alkyl halides on treatment with two moles of sodium in presence of dry ether, you will get a higher aliphatic hydrocarbon that is called Urge reaction. Hence, our right option is C, normal butane you get uh, according to Urge reaction. Coming to the next question, reaction of C2H5, reaction C2H5I, uh, C5H11I, two sodium atoms we use, two moles of it dry ether, again it is an example for the Urge reaction. Of course, I have said before the options, so it is not a Hoffman's bromide reaction, uh, Hoffman's reaction, Dow's reaction, it is a Urge reaction, it is not a Riemer Timer reaction, it is a reaction where uh, it is Urge reaction because uh, we have used one mole of ethyl iodide and one mole of uh, that is C2H5I and two moles of sodium in uh, dry ether, we will get a a higher alkane, higher aliphatic alkane and hence it is an Urge reaction. Therefore, our right option is option C. Moving on to the next one, dehydrobromination, dehydrobromination of 2 bromobutane gives CS3CH, double bond CH, CS3. That is 2 butene, you will get 1, 2, 3, oh, 4, 2 butene is a compound formed here, 2 butene. So, this what is expected is, what is this product based on what rule, on which rule this compound is expected. So, the, here is a very interesting thing here, 2 bromobutane, I will write this 2 bromobutane, how it is, uh, butane means 4 carbon atoms, 4 carbon atoms, as bromine is at carbon number 2, therefore, bromine Br and rest of the thing I will write like this, 2 bromo what is this? 2 bromo butane, bromine is there and uh, uh, dehydrohalogenation takes place. To For dehydrohalogenation, what is required? Alcoholic KOH or NaOH use, NaOH or KOH use. So, in this case, there are two possibilities here, there are two possibilities. So, this is an alpha carbon, this is a beta carbon, this is also a beta carbon. So, here two beta carbon atoms are available, two beta hydrogen atoms, two varieties of beta hydrogen atoms we have. So, 
either uh, this hydrogen may be re may be removed or this may be removed this is a hydrogen atom on either side uh, is possible but we are we have expected this one we have expected this compound that means uh, carbon atom where there are less number of hydrogen atoms are from that uh, hydrogen atom is re is removed along with bromine and therefore we are getting uh, two two uh, uh, butene we are getting two butene and you you can form you can get even uh, this compound also one butene also is expected this hydrogen can also be removed but uh, one of the rule says that sedgeff's rule says that the um, hydrogen atom is removed along with bromine atom which which is bonded to that carbon which contains less number of hydrogen atoms so this is a beta carbon where it contains only two hydrogen atoms there is another beta carbon where it contains three hydrogen atoms so therefore the according to sedgeff's rule the hydrogen atom from the neighboring carbon atom uh, is removed where there are less number of hydrogen atom and therefore it is according to sedgeff's rule therefore the op, uh, explanation regarding this uh, i'll remove all this so that it is easy for you to know this okay I, am, I have tried my best to remove these things what I have written. Uh, it is according to this. This is a bromine atom. This hydrogen atom is replaced. These two are removed. Of course, there is a possibility of removing the hydrogen from the first carbon also, but that is not. Even if it is uh, removed, you will get a minor product. The major product is according to Sedgeff's rule, you will get two butene, and hence the right option is option B, that is Sedgeff's rule. Moving on to the next one. Uh, CCl4 cannot give precipitate with AgNO3 due to carbon tetrachloride cannot give precipitate with silver nitrate solution. Silver nitrate solution, uh, when on reacting with chlorine, on reacting with chlorine, immediately it gives a white precipitate. Uh, while carrying out the um, test for chloride ion, confirmative test for chloride ion, generally we carry out this uh, a solution containing chloride ion on treating with silver nitrate it gives white precipitate though carbon tetrachloride contains four chlorine atoms four chlorine atoms but it does not give any precipitation why it is due to option a formation of complex with agno3 agno3 ccl4 forms a complex with agno3 because of that it is not going to give precipitate uh, option b evolution of chlorine gas chlorine option c chloride ion is not formed option d agno3 does not give silver ions of course this is not silver ion agno3 immediately it, it undergoes decomposition to give silver ion and nitrate ion there is no doubt in it silver ions and nitrate ions are present in the reaction mixture uh, chloride ion is not favored is not formed is said in option c evolution of chlorine gas and formation of complex with agno3 option in option b evolution of chlorine gas the moment when the chlorine is released that is evolved it seems so that is not the thing uh, whatever the chloride ions that are formed they will be there in the solution there is no question of evolution hence option b is not correct hence option a formation of complex with agno3 is said that is also not correct agno3 does not give silver nitrate is said that is also not correct uh, these are all the things options where it is not related to the precipitation of uh, white precipitation of silver chloride and only thing is uh, chloride ion is not formed of course in carbon tetrachloride ccl4 four chlorine atoms are there but it is not going to give any chloride ion it is not going to give any chloride ion and as a result of it though there are ag plus ions in the solution and NO3 minus ions in the solution, no chloride ions in the solution, there is therefore silver chloride is not formed due to the due to the non-availability of chloride ion in the reaction mixture. Hence, the right option is uh, this one covalent compound, hence it does not give chloride ion in the solution, uh, hence no reaction, no PPT. Therefore, option C is the right one. Moving on to the next question. Uh, 
one chlorobutane, one chlorobutane reacts with alcoholic KOH form, one chlorobutane. So, one chlorobutane uh, that means again four carbon atoms we have butane, one chloro is set therefore, this is the this is the uh, structure actually. Uh, there is one, there is no set of rule is involved involved in this. Only one beta carbon atom is there in it. There is a hydrogen atom. As we are treating with alcoholic KOH, alcoholic KOH. Therefore, the hydro uh, halogenation takes place uh, in this case. Uh, therefore, this is one we uh, is removed. There is no other option, and hence the options that we get. I just remove the for the sake of you people. I just remove the things what I have written here. Okay. Uh, this is a reaction, alcoholic KOH on treating, you will end up with what? Uh, you will get one butene, then only terminal carbon atom containing halogen is removed, that halogen is removed with uh, along with the halogen, uh, hydrogen atom which is adjacent to the carbon atom to which the halogen atom is bonded and therefore, the option, right option is one butene. We are expecting one butene here, no question of Sedgev's rule comes into picture here because there is only one beta carbon atom. Uh, Sedgev's rule comes into picture only when if there are more than one beta carbon atom is available in the molecule. Hence, option B, uh, option A is our right answer and we move on to the next one. The next question is an isomer of C3H6Cl2 on boiling with aqueous KOH gives acetone. Hence, the isomer is isomer of C3 H6 Cl2 on boiling with aqueous KOH gives acetone, hence the isomer is option 2 to dichloropropane, 1 to dichloropropane, 1 1 dichloropropane, 1 3 dichloropropane. Or we are expecting uh, acetone, that means at acetone is a molecule that is C S 3 C O C S 3. So, we are expecting, we are expecting C O here. That means, two hydrogen atoms are to be replaced by this from the alkane. That means, anything uh, the molecule should, any reaction is going to take place only at the second carbon atom and look at this reaction, look at this reaction. C S 3 C C L that is two chlorine atoms are at second carbon atom because we are we are getting acetone the changes that we find only at the second carbon atom therefore the chlorine atoms must be at the carbon number 2 2 2 dichloropropane which is an isomer this on treating with aqueous koh this on boiling two oh groups two chlorine atoms are replaced by the two oh groups this on hydro uh, de, um, that is dehydration you will get acetone molecule oh OH and H of this will remove to form a acetone molecule. Hence, the isomer is 2 2 dichloropropane. Hence, our right option is option A. Moving on to the next question. When primary amine reacts with chloroform in ethanolic, ethanolic KOH, then the product is this, re, uh, this type of question we can expect even in uh, amine chapter also because their primary amine we, we give focus on primary amine, here we are focusing on the uh, chloroform. So, primary amine on treating with chloroform in ethanolic KOH, alcoholic KOH we say, then the product is an isocyanide, an aldehyde, a cyanide, an alcohol. Uh, always in uh, one of the, uh, it is a test for primary, uh, primary amine. You learn this even in amine chapter also. A test for primary amine is primary amine on treating with chloroform in presence of alcoholic KOH, you will get untolerable smell of an isocyanate. So, that point you learn in amine chapter also. So, here is the same reaction we are expecting here. So, therefore, a chloroform CHCl3, this on treating with primary amine, RNH2 is a primary amine, alcoholic KOH is treated, RNC. RNC isocyanide com, uh, um, compound is formed which is 
a bad, which gives a very bad smell and it is a test for primary amine and therefore, uh, we are expecting an isocyanide. Isocyanide is a compound we are expecting uh, here. Hence, our right option is option A, an isocyanide. Um, moving on to the next question. Identify the set of reagent or reaction conditions X and Y in following set of transformations. CS3, CH2, CH2, Br on treating with the X, you will get some product that on treating with Y, you will get CS3, CH, Br and then CS3. Then what is condition? What is X and Y? So, X in option A, X is dilute aqueous NaOH with uh, at 20 degree Celsius and Y is HBr uh, at acetic acid in presence of acetic acid at 20 degree Celsius. In option B, X is concentrated alcoholic NaOH at 80 degree Celsius and Y is HBr in presence of acetic acid at 20 degree Celsius. Uh, C, X dilute, uh, X is dilute aqueous solution of NaOH at 20 degree Celsius and Y is bromine in presence of chloroform at 0 degree Celsius, X is equal to concentrated alcoholic NaOH at 80 degree Celsius and Y is equal to bromine in presence of chloroform. So, uh, what compound we are getting here is uh, alkyl, there is one bromopropane it is, one bromopropane, we are expecting, we are getting to bromopropane, only replacement of bromine atom takes place in this case. So, that means, for replacement uh, of from uh, first carbon to the second carbon, the reaction X, what it must be treated? Uh, it must be treated with like this, dehydrobromination by strong base followed by Marconic of rule, addition of HBr uh, we, uh, will give you, will give that, whereas dilute base carries out a substitution reaction. Uh, dehydrohalogenation takes place, debromination takes place only in case of strong concentrated alcoholic NaOH at higher temperature, whereas dilute sodium hydroxide gives a substitution reaction and therefore, option option B, option B where X is concentrated alcoholic NaOH at higher temperature that favors dehydrobromination and followed by uh, uh, treating with HBr in presence of acetic acid, which is uh, according to Marconics of rule, it gives a 2 bromo propane. Hence, option B is the right one. Moving on to the next question, what would be the product formed when 1 bromo 3 chloro cyclobutane reacts with 2 equivalents of metallic sodium in ether. So, again it is an example, look at this, look at the question again, 1 bromo 3 chloro cyclobutane, cyclobutane, it is not an aromatic compound, it is a, a ring structure, but it is aliphatic in nature sorry, it is aliphatic of course, the options given to you are so, 1 bromo 3 chloro cyclobutane uh, on treatment with two equivalents of metallic sodium, what compound you will expect? 1 bromo, so uh, 2 chloro, the structure, I will write, write, I will write the structure of it, this is bromo and this is a chloro, uh, 1 bromo, 1, 2, 3, carbon 3, of butane, cyclobutane, cyclobutane. Here we have bromine atom at carbon number 1 and chlorine atom is at carbon number 2 and therefore, uh, this on treating with metallic sodium 2 Na, 2 moles of it, of course, uh, what product do you expect? Here is a reaction. Look at this, bromine at carbon number 1 and chlorine is at carbon number 3, carbon number 3 on treating with sodium in presence of dry ether, uh, you will end up with this molecule and then on treating with sodium again, you will end up with this. First, bromine is removed, bromine is removed, this bond is tilted, it is connected with the third carbon, it is dotted shown here and then on further treatment with sodium, as I told you 2 moles of sodium, then this uh, chlorine is also removed and end up with sodium chloride. Uh, therefore, uh, right option for this a bromine is a better leaving group as I told you than chloride. Uh, um, in this reaction, alkali metal sodium is an electron donor and therefore, you will end up with the uh, option D, 
option D. I will just go back, option D, I will go back, option D is this one, option D where uh, you will end up with this. Now, moving on to the uh, next question, our next question is this, x, y and z have the value of mu as 1.78, 1.9 and 1.3 debase respectively. Which of the following could be x? Among x, y and z, x, y and z have the values of mu as 1.78, 1.9, 1.3 debase, which one of the following, uh, which could be the x? Following could be the x. So, orthochlorotolvin, metachlorotolvin, parachlorotolvin, data is insufficient to explain this. This is the options that are given. Orthochlorotolvin means a CS3 group is and Cl are attached to the neighboring carbonate of the benzene ring. Metachlorotolvin, uh, here it is meta, this is chlorine and then this is a CS3 group, meta, sorry, this is para and meta position, this is uh, metachloro, para position is this one, it is not there, CS3 group comes here and data is insufficient. So, uh, to explain this, which one is x, uh, to explain that, here were the explanation. So, here are the two things I have written. The first one is, first one is para, para derivative, para chlorotolvin, this is metachlorotolvin and then orthochlorotolvin. So, in, in this case, the uh, net movement, dipole movement uh, is 1.9, 1.9, Debe and 1.78, 1.3. Here the uh, dipole movement is less in case of ortho. The reason behind that is the distance between the uh, two groups is far away. As a result of it, uh, x, this is a, a para has more value of this and ortho has lesser value. In between value is 1.78, that is at meta position. Thus, the order of reaction para is greater than, meta is greater than, uh, para is greater than, meta is greater than, ortho. So, the x with medium value of mu should be meta chloro benzene and hence b is the right option. Coming to the, coming to the next question, uh, uh, C6H6 Cl plus Cl2 uh, in presence of sunlight, the product gives the reaction, the product is, in this reaction the product is, uh, what we are expecting, look at this, C6H6Cl2, in presence of sunlight we are using, uh, carrying out in presence of sunlight or carrying out in presence of uh, halogen carrier uh, differs, as we are carrying out the hel in presence of sunlight, substitution reaction takes place and hence uh, we expect this, benzene, C6H6, chlorine sufficient number of chlorine atoms is not mentioned here, 3 Cl2 it must be, it must be 3 Cl2 and hence you will get BHC, benzene hexachloride. All the hydrogen atoms of benzene, all the 6 hydrogen atoms of benzene are replaced by the chlorine atoms and we expect benzene hexachloride, BHC we call, which is also called as gamexene. We therefore, the right option is option D. Okay. Uh, now, uh, we have, um, uh, I hope you have enjoyed all these questions. These are the questions not sufficient to face the exams again and therefore, I ask you to uh, have more and more questions, expose yourself to more questions and prepare well for the forthcoming NEET and CET. Thank you one and all.